Right now at five, the state's agriculture department has an answer for how birds contracted avian flu in two southern Wisconsin poultry facilities. Also, COVID cases continue to drop, but the CDC says we're not out of the woods yet. Details about a new warning. And the U.S. and other world leaders place stricter sanctions on Russia as the crisis in Ukraine continues. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. An Iowa County daycare provider faces criminal charges after a four-month-old baby died from severe head injuries. Prosecutors say Wyatt Hamlin died last month, a week after suffering injuries while in the care of Joanna Ford, who provided daycare services at her own home. Brady Mallory has details from a criminal complaint that outlines what led to the baby's death and why medical examiners say this is a case of definitive child abuse. Brady? Well, Ford made her first court appearance today after police arrested her last week. Her bond is set at $10,000. According to a criminal complaint filed in Iowa County, Wyatt's mother dropped him off at Ford's home the morning of February 25th and says he was smiling and not having any issues. Court documents say Ford had other children there and then left in the afternoon for an appointment. Later on, when Ford returned home, she reportedly sent Wyatt's mom a video of the baby breathing very fast and texted, I would take him in. He's starting to scare me now. This isn't making sense. He was totally fine this morning. Wyatt's father took him to the hospital where doctors found Wyatt's brain was swelling. Staff issued a report of possible child abuse to Mineral Point Police. Wyatt died a week later after being taken off life support. An autopsy confirmed a brain hemorrhage and severe brain swelling and other head injuries. The medical examiner's office said abusive head trauma was determined to be the cause of his death. News 3 now can't find any indication Ford was licensed to provide child care in Wisconsin, which is only required under state law when a person is providing care for four or more children under seven years old for less than 24 hours at a time. In addition, to Ford's own three children, Wyatt and another toddler were in her home that day, according to court records. Brady, thank you. And let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti out on the weather patio. Gary, it's uh, staying gray out there. It is, and it's, that's not going to change for the next couple of days. And not having the sunshine and having the brisk winds out of the west and northwest are going to put a chill in the air. You can see a visible cloud track, the clouds spiraling around. There was a little bit of break of sunshine early this morning, and then we had some showers move through with a cold front. Now temperatures are starting to fall. Closer to home, you can see just some light showers moving on through right now, not raining in the backyard. But low temperatures this morning started out pretty mild in the lower 40s. We made it up to 51 about midday before the temperature started to fall. And you can see we're back down to 43 right now in Madison. We've had some wind gusts about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Look for skies to be mostly cloudy tonight. We'll see a chance for a rain shower, maybe mixing with a few flakes of snow by morning with a low temperature of 34. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy and cold with some rain and snow showers. High temperature only topping out at 41. And later on, I'll take a look at the forecast. It includes more of the same for Friday. Well, this is uh, our severe weather week, and our coverage will continue tonight. Meteorologist Chris Reese will show you how to protect yourself when you're away from home. That's coming up tonight at 6. Gary, thank you. We'll see you at 6. As the war in Ukraine stretches into another week, the mayor of the besieged city of Mariupol says more than 5,000 civilians have been killed by Russian forces. Over 200, are children, are, uh, 200 children are among the dead. Mariupol officials say over 90% of the city's infrastructure has been destroyed. Meanwhile, Western allies announced new sanctions today against Russian government officials and their families. NATO foreign ministers say Russia's attacks on Ukraine could last for years. Karen Kaifa has the latest, and we want to warn viewers, you may find some of this video disturbing. Amid more startling images from Ukraine. Responsible nations have to come together to hold these perpetrators accountable. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the Justice Department is helping to collect evidence for possible Russian war crimes prosecution. The United States is, at the request of the Ukrainian prosecutor, assisting in the collection of information with respect to the atrocities that took place. Garland announced a number of U.S. actions, including charges against a Russian oligarch for sanctions violations and the disruption of a botnet controlled by Russia's military intelligence agency. This, as the White House joined European allies in imposing new economic sanctions on Russian financial institutions and on Russian President Vladimir Putin's two daughters. But at a NATO summit in Brussels, an acknowledgement the conflict could last months, even years. We have seen no indication that uh, President Putin has 
has uh, changed his ambition to control uh, the whole of Ukraine. But at the same time, we have to be realistic and, and realize that this may last for a long time. On Capitol Hill, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned of the economic toll of a long Russia-Ukraine war, with its disruption of the global food and energy markets. The EU took its first steps towards sanctioning Russia's energy market this week with a proposal to ban coal imports. In Washington, I'm Karen Kaifa. Meanwhile, the Department of Justice has disrupted a malicious digital network that was run by the Russian military intelligence agency, but the FBI warns that Russian cyber actors continue to pose an imminent threat. No criminal charges will be filed in the fatal police shooting of Amir Locke inside a Minneapolis apartment that happened in February. Minnesota's attorney general says there's not enough evidence to file charges against the officer who shot the 22-year-old during a no-knock warrant. Police opened fire after a gun was spotted in Locke's hand. A Marquette County Sheriff's deputy was fired after he was arrested for allegedly engaging in sexual behavior with a minor. Travis Biddleman was arrested today after video surfaced of him allegedly soliciting sexual activities with a minor. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office is conducting an external investigation into the allegations alongside the Wisconsin Department of Justice's Division of Criminal Investigation. Authorities say they plan to share the results of their investigation once it is completed. Agriculture officials say they now have some idea of how poultry in Jefferson and Rock counties contracted avian flu. Wisconsin Department of Ag, Trade and Consumer Protection collected data at both facilities and determined the birds most likely contracted the disease after having contact with other wild birds. And in each case, we think these two are independent and they think each, we think each of them is introduction from, from a wild bird contact of some sort. And the birds at each facility were killed to keep the virus from spreading. The avian flu has been found in wild birds in various parts of the state, including Dane, Columbia, and Grant counties. A warning for those commuting to Madison each day from the southwest. Highway 18151 between Mount Horeb and Fitchburg is getting some maintenance done. One, 18151 will be open to one lane in each direction during construction. Ramp closures are also anticipated during this work. The project will include concrete base patching and an asphalt overlay. It will also include an extended right turn lane along the westbound off-ramp to County Road PB. State Treasurer Sarah Godlewski working the campaign trail in Fitchburg today talking about child care challenges. The Senate candidate vying to, cha vying to challenge U.S. Senator Ron Johnson spent the day touring the child care center and hosting a roundtable discussion about the struggles families face when it comes to accessing affordable child care. Many of those struggles include high cost and slim accessibility. Child care is hard work. You have to be credentialed to do this. It's like a teacher. And yet we are facing shortages that impact families, um, whether it's the cost of child care to how much our child care providers are making, but it is a critical part of making sure our kids have a good education and at the same time have a place to go so their parents can work. Godlewski also said child care providers should be paid their worth and they should be getting paid the same at pay and benefits that teachers do. The city of Beloit just passed an ordinance banning the sale of dogs, cats, and rabbits. Actions taken by the Beloit City Council were inspired by similar legislation just passed over the border in Illinois. While the city does not have any pet stores, local leaders felt the action was a necessary preventative step. According to the Humane Society of the United States, an estimated 10,000 puppy mills produce more than 2 million puppies per year in the United States. And you know, our city council here was simply just concerned about the welfare of those animals and um, you know, wanting to support our humane societies and animal rescues. Officials hope they can raise awareness about a larger national issue of animal mistreatment. The Wisconsin Veterans Museum has a unique exhibit that you might want to check out. The Souvenirs of Service display showcases items collected by Wisconsin service members from war. The one-of-a-kind pieces are featured from the Civil War era to the present. Items include dolls, photographs, and clothing. The museum is the microphone, the veterans are the voice. And that really brings an authenticity to that experience because it's them telling you the stories. 
Each souvenir is presented with its own backstory. The stories represent Wisconsin natives from Eau Claire, Racine, and a number of other cities. The exhibit will be on display through the end of the year. Wisconsin Film Festival returning in person for the first time since 2019. Over 150 films will be featured across Madison on and off UW campus. You can buy tickets online, $12 each. All festival passes will cost $325. Starts tomorrow, runs through April 14th. And we have a full list of films at Channel 3000. COVID cases continue to decline for now, but the CDC is warning of another major surge later this year. Elise, Elise Preston has the details. The United States could see another major wave of COVID-19 this fall and winter. The FDA's vaccine chief said Wednesday there are at least three factors putting us at risk. The virus, which has shown its ability to change over time uh, to evade our uh, immune systems, will have had at least six more months uh, to further evolve. Dr. Peter Mark cited waning vaccine protection and the onset of colder weather as other factors. The warning comes amid an FDA discussion about strategy for future booster shot campaigns. We're not saying which population necessarily needs to be boosted uh, come next fall winter. Uh, I think that's for the committee to discuss. The CDC says the subvariant of Omicron called BA.2 is now the dominant strain in the United States. In the area around Syracuse, New York, where cases have been rising for weeks, the uptick isn't holding back travel plans. I'm comfortable. I'm fully vaccinated. I'm boosted. With the government lifting most COVID restrictions, health experts say it's up to each individual to assess their own personal risk. The only people we can ultimately trust are ourselves so. and knowing that we can do the right thing. We can get vaccinated. If we have symptoms, we can get tested. Here on Broadway, positive COVID tests have sideline actor Matthew Broderick in the revival of Plaza Suite, as well as Daniel Craig in a new production of Macbeth. In California, some downward trends have stalled with San Francisco logging the highest rate of new infections. But health experts say cases are still way lower than the height of the winter surge. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. The Bay Area reporting about 700 new cases a day. That is a fraction from the peak of more than 18,000 daily cases during the surge, but still much higher than the 200 daily cases reported last summer. Coming up next, gas prices continue to rise across the U.S., as do gas thefts. After the break, we go to Capitol Hill to listen in on a hearing about these issues. And later, some issues for voters during yesterday's spring election. We'll have the details on that coming up at 6. And tech shares bringing down all all stocks on Wall Street today. The Dow Industrials fell more than 144 points. The tech-heavy Nasdaq tumbling 315 points or 2.2 percent. We'll be right back. Your John Deere is here. Get yours during Deere season. Right now, get your new X700 series with 1.49 percent for 48 months. Get a John Deere now and power up with Sloan's. How will you mow? Find out today at Sloan's. In the military, we call it dereliction of duty. Ron Johnson is supposed to serve Wisconsin. Instead, he served himself. An investigation found Ron Johnson pushed through a special tax loophole that benefited his own family's business. Then he cashed out of the company for $5 million. Ron Johnson has doubled his wealth since taking office. That's a dereliction of duty. Tell Ron Johnson to stop passing tax laws that benefit himself. There are so many things we take for granted, and along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living, and through no fault of their own, they're being left behind? If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Dylan, how's the cash situation with all the price increases? Honestly, not that great. Well, Slumberland can help. It's our biggest finance sales event of the year. Check out this cool patio set for just $25 a month or this beautiful sectional for just $20 a month when you spend $1,200 and pay no interest for five years. No way. And for your new mattress, come to Slumberland Sleep Solutions where we've rated each bed on back support and softness to take all the guesswork out of shopping. It's replacement window season. Thousands of homeowners choose Champion every year. Replacing the windows, it made our home more comfortable and uh, more functional. 
The fact that Champion designs, builds, installs, and guarantees all of its products here in the United States definitely sets them apart. Champion makes buying new windows easy. No middleman markups and no bigger savings on better windows. Now is the time to get new windows for your home. Buy two windows, get two free. Call or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. Your John Deere is here. Get yours during Deere season. Right now, get your new Z700 series with 0% for 48 months. Get a John Deere now and... Power up with Sloan's. How will you mow? Find out today at Sloan's. Are you prepared for when severe weather strikes? Our special coverage of Severe Weather Awareness Week continues. Meteorologist Chris Reese talks with an emergency management official to give you severe weather safety tips. That's tonight on News 3 Now at 6. News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and we will send you local breaking news as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. It is still a growing problem, continuing to hurt businesses and drivers. As the price of gas rises, now so are gas thefts. One gas station in Texas has been the victim of theft more than a dozen times. The owners say one thief somehow used a device to bypass the credit card reader and somehow stole 7,000 gallons of gas. Police say others across the country are stealing it from parked cars. AAA recommends parking in a garage if possible. If you have to park on the street, they say it's best to look for a well-lit, highly trafficked area. And speaking of gas prices, oil execs appearing before a House committee today for the second time now in six months. The hearing was a round-robin blame game, and no matter which way you slice it, Americans are still paying more at the pump. Skylar Henry reports from Capitol Hill. You are ripping the American people off and it must end. House Democrats unleashed on oil executives Wednesday, blaming the industry for skyrocketing oil and gas prices. Why is the price of oil coming down, but the price at the pump is still near record highs? AAA says the national average for a gallon of gas is now $4.16, up $1.29 from a year ago. The Biden administration has ordered the release of oil from the U.S. stockpile to help ease prices that spiked following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The last time we saw price increases like this, maybe to the presidency of Jimmy Carter. But Republicans squarely blame the White House's, quote, anti-American energy policies, like shuttering the Keystone Pipeline. This is the Biden price hike. And it's been a steady climb since he took office. Oil executives testified they have no control over the markets. We do not control the market price of crude oil or natural gas, nor of refined products like gasoline and diesel fuel. And we have no tolerance for price gouging. Lawmakers also put the spotlight on oil industry profits, nearly $77 billion for these six companies testifying. Last year, two of them, Exxon and Chevron, reported their most profitable year since 2014. Oil executives credit post-pandemic demand for the boost. New Jersey Congressman Frank Pallone suggested companies increase production and decrease buybacks. Yes or no? Yes, I, I can't commit. I can't commit to a reduction in buybacks. And All dividends. right, I hear you. Pallone says oil companies are on track for another year of record profits. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Oil executives testify they're working long term for cleaner energy solutions. A delegation from the UW-Madison campus made a visit to our nation's capital today. Alums, faculty and students attend UW-Madison Day in D.C. each year, meeting with agencies and lawmakers about federal funding and policies that affect the campus. In a live stream, the acting director of student aid explained why federal money is so important. We do about half a billion dollars a year in student aid, and about 180 million of that comes from federal resources. Uh, and so that's what really he says that more than half of those who go to UW-Madison leave without any student debt, thanks in part to grants that come from federal funds. Let's get a look now at your certified most accurate weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canolti. Gary? Well, yeah, we had a cold front come through early this afternoon, and now temperatures have started to fall. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Look for rain and snow showers off and on, basically from now all the way through Friday. Uh, as late at night, early in the morning, it'll be mainly snow showers in the warmer part of the afternoon, probably more in the way of rain showers. But chilly weather will continue for tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday with high temperatures 
Lower 40s tomorrow, upper 30s on Friday, and mid 40s on Saturday when we should be well into the 50s this time of year. But it will turn mild. I'm looking for 60s to return Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, and we'll see some showers and thunderstorms, and maybe even the potential for some severe weather at that time. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Some of the computer model forecasts are starting to indicate some active thunderstorms around here. Right now, just some light rain showers, uh, if anything, is falling from the sky at all, uh, basically behind a cold front, which has swept through as now it was out over, actually moved across Lake Michigan and is, is into lower Michigan. It's really booking along to the north. Uh, the showers start mixing with snow. Now, the rain has been certainly welcome over the last week and a half or so. Uh, generally, about oh, just over the last five days, about an inch to two inches of rain from Madison on toward the south and east, about a half to three quarters of an inch north and west of Madison. So, a good soaking rain. But some of the precipitation coming down in the form of snow, still winter weather advisories up near Lake Superior, parts of Minnesota into the eastern Dakotas, and also some very strong winds. Uh, high wind warnings in effect for the Dakotas into Western Minnesota, wind advisories into southwestern Minnesota and western Iowa. But take a look at the high temperature trend. This is our normal, 53 to 57 over the next 10 days. Our temperatures, 30s and 40s next couple of days, near normal on Sunday, and then boom, we're above normal with those shower and thunderstorm chances uh, the middle or early to middle part of next week, and then temperatures drop back below normal as we head toward the Easter holiday, and it looks like Easter or Sunday will probably be a chilly day as well. Highs only in the 40s. Right now, temperatures, 30s and 40s across our part of the Midwest, 50s and 60s to the south, that's still a little bit below average for that part of the Midwest, but notice the upper level winds back to the northwest, shuffling in the cold air from the north and west, and this storm system is getting wound up. The jet stream is kind of circulating around it. So now you've got almost like a whirlpool at the side of a stream, nothing really to move it along. So it's just going to sit and spin for a couple of days until it gradually weakens, and that means we're going to be stuck underneath this, these clouds for a while while the warmer and sunnier air stays out to the west and south. This storm system will start winding down a little bit, but we'll still see the rain and snow showers circulating around it for the next couple of days and notice the temperatures 40s and 30s get used to them at least through Saturday so for tomorrow look for a high of only 41 it'll be colder than today with some rain and snow showers uh, temperatures uh, are not going to change very much over the next couple of days notice on future track those temperatures dropping into the 30s by morning climbing into the low 40s tomorrow back down to the low 30s for Thursday night and then Friday only in the upper 30s with some rain and snow shower chances 7 to 10 day forecast temperatures start to rebound early next week and the showers and thunderstorms Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then temperatures drop off toward the end of next week as the showers come to an end. As we check out first warrant traffic, uh, the view of the belt line at Park Street not looking too good in the eastbound direction. Uh, fairly slow traffic. That's coming out of the construction zone around Todd Drive, but we're seeing delays starting from around Southtown Drive going back to around Verona Road in the eastbound belt line. Westbound not too bad. Over a half hour in the eastbound belt line, but 17 minutes going back on the westbound uh, belt line uh, through the entire length. Uh, no problems on the belt uh, on I-3990 from the belt line down to Janesville or US-12 from Middleton to Sauk City, downtown to Sun Prairie, the normal 18 minutes. That's your news Street now, first warrant traffic. All right, Gary, thank you. With this interest rates on the rise, why experts say now is the time to improve your credit score. How to do it next at 5. News 3 now, first warrant weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Spa, spa, spa! The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is coming this weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Rose and Rose of Spas, Hot Tubs, and Swim Spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in-stock models. This weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Can you be free of hair breakage worries? We invited Maho to see for herself that Dove Breakage Remedy gives damaged hair the strength it needs. Even with repeated combing, hair treated with Dove shows 97% less breakage. Strong hair with Dove Breakage Remedy. Number one beauty brand not tested on animals. I got nothing to eat. Nothing. Hold on, I can do something. Turning nothing into something. Turning nothing into something. It's amazing what you can do with nothing and a little help us. For decades, Washington politicians have promised to lower the cost of prescription drugs. But every year the prices go up. Why? Because Republicans like Ron Johnson, and let's be honest, too many Democrats don't have the guts to stand up to the pharmaceutical companies. I'm Sarah Godlewski, and I will. I want to bring practical solutions to Washington. That's what I've done as state treasurer. I'm Sarah Godlewski, and the big drug companies may not approve this message, but I do. Enough! This doom and gloom ends now. It's time for 
a brighter view. Let the sun shine in with two-for-one windows from Feltco. Plus, no interest until 2023. Two-for-one windows from Feltco and soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feltco. Family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Spas, spas, spas. The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is coming this weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Rows and rows of spas, hot tubs, and swim spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in-stock models. This weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. The three big credit reporting agencies recently announced they're dropping medical debt collections. And as interest rates go up, experts say now is the time to improve your credit score to get better interest rates on loans and other things. In today's Consumer Watch, three things you can do right now to improve your score. Where's your credit score at? It could rise in a few months after credit reporting agencies Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion announced starting July 1st, they'll remove nearly 70% of medical debt that went to collections from consumer credit reports once it's been paid off. And typically that would still be a derogatory account, but even settled uh, medical debts are going to be removed from credit reports. Experts say when debt is placed on your credit report, it could make it harder to get access to credit or loans. And with the Fed increasing interest rates, it could could pay off to look for other ways to raise your credit score in order to keep borrowing costs down. David Mahalik from Credit Bergio has three tips to help you improve your credit score this year. Number one, pay down credit card debt. It's the second largest section of our credit score. If you have high credit card balances, if you start leveraging credit card debt a little too high, it's not at all uncommon to see scores drop 40, 50, 80 points or even more. Number two, get added as an authorized user on a credit card from a family member or friend. That way, their great credit history will show up on your credit report and potentially raise your number. And number three, put payments on auto pay. Create an account for all your bills to pay online and set up for minimum payment so that you don't forget. You don't want to see that big drop in credit score because you got a 30 day late on a credit card and you forgot because uh, you had it paid off and there was an annual fee. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. And the experts say always monitor your credit. Go to annualcreditreport.com or check with your bank or credit union. We're back with the final check of your first worn forecast when we return. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Lawson, here to tell you about life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program. If you're age 50 to 85 and looking to buy life insurance on a fixed budget, remember the three Ps. The three what? The three Ps. What are the three Ps? The three Ps of life insurance on a fixed budget are price, price, and price. A price you can afford, a price that can't increase, and a price that fits your budget. I'm 54 and was a smoker, but quit. What's my price? You can get coverage for $9.95 a month. I'm 65, retired, and take medications. What's my price? Also $9.95 a month. I just turned 80 and I'm on a fixed income. What's my price? $9.95 a month for you two. If you're age 50 to 85, call now about the number one most popular whole life insurance plan available through the Colonial Pen Program. It has an affordable rate starting at $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. You cannot be turned down because of your health. No medical exam, no health questions. Your acceptance is guaranteed. And this plan has a guaranteed lifetime rate lock. 
So your rate can never go up for any reason. Options start at $9.95 a month. Plus, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So call now for free information, and you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. Use this valuable guide to record your important information and give helpful direction to your loved ones with your final wishes. And it's yours free, just for calling. So call now for free information. Call 1-800-644-6688 for your free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-644-6688. 1-800-644-6688. That's 1-800-644-6688. So call now. The Menards Garden Center is open. Save 11% at your one-stop destination for all your outdoor projects. Want flowers for your deck, patio, or yard? We've got hundreds of colorful options to choose from. Growing a larger garden? We've got the soils, seeds, and tools you need. Landscaping? Check out our wide selection of edgers, pavers, and patio block. The Menards Garden Center. Let's grow. Right now, pick up a bag of mulch for just $1.75 each. Things were really starting to turn worse for my mom. They basically said, that's all we can do. Right to try is hope when there is no hope. We had done research on the uh, Zysami. Apparently it was still in stage three clinical trials. She couldn't have that medication unless it was for the right to try act in Senator Johnson's work. So this is three days after the treatment. And you can see the difference. You know, without the efforts of Senator Johnson, my mom wouldn't be here today. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. And Gary's back, final check of the forecast. Well, rain and snow showers out there, mainly rain showers around here, but you can see the snow up to the north in Minnesota. You see just a few sprinkles out there, but these will pick up later on tonight into tomorrow. Temperatures are middle 40s through most of southern Wisconsin, seeing some wind gusts up to 30 to 41 miles an hour in uh, Monroe in the last hour. Temperatures drop to the middle 30s tonight, only 41 for I tomorrow. CBS Evening News coming your way next. We're back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6.